Hello again everyone, welcome back to me, myself and I playing The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Dailies. Jekri did die, unfortunately, because they did not know how the razor blade works, which is a mistake I have made in the past. But we will not make it twice, right friends? I didn't actually upload the one where I didn't know how to... <laughs> what? Ballsy. Oh, that fucked up. I didn't upload the one where I didn't know how the razor blade worked because I got super salty. And not in a fun way. Right, I've already taken damage, so bad start. We're not on the XL floor though, so I think we're okay. Wow, I really don't like an Eve start, unless you can get a spirit heart behind you. Whereupon you can get your old horror Babylon stuff going on. Who talks about this? Uh, and actually start doing some damage, get some good... Uh... Are you going to come over here? Thank you. Good range behind you. Uh, range of speed behind you. You know what I'm saying. You basically start off shit until you end up at half a, a, a full red heart, at which point you have some capability of doing well, but maybe it's not for us today. So let's see if we can find the item room. That seems like a good idea. And not die. Don't need that. Uh, not a fan of these rooms. Well, the cellar though. An Eve start on the cellar with no obvious way of getting ourselves Ah, uh, spirit hearts? We don't even have a bomb, you know? That's that's what you really need, is at least one bomb. Or just a random spirit heart drop. Go. Do it. Please. And spirit heart is now. Nope. Not enough money and no key. There's... Oh, oh, oh! Oh! You taunt me, you tease me. GP bug. Turn that into a spirit heart. Go. No? Screw you. So, yesterday. We did okay. We did win. Guess that's okay. Duke flies. Um, what can we learn from yesterday? Well, don't walk into the, the neutral flies that hang out around poop. That can hurt. And just generally... Well, one thing we learned is that I can't count. I'll take this for now. Um, there are six rooms, six floors, <laughs> not eight. Two basements, two uh, two catacombs, is caves, and two depths. That's six. So that gives us twenty divided by six uh, minutes. Oh, we can't go in there. Of course we can't. Uh, minutes for each floor, which is more than two more than two and a half. Uh, but, obviously, it still holds true that they are going to take longer as we go through. So, uh, the devil card is possibly useful here. So, we will try to expediate ourselves, if we possibly can. I was just watching Mathis play yesterday's run, and he had the Bible and Lump of Coal, which gave him a good DPS start. Ah, fudge. Can't believe we haven't found a single spirit heart so far. And watch us find one immediately that now that we don't need one. That was a bit of a, an awful room. Uh, unfortunately, you kind of expect Muller Boons to take each other out in a chain reaction. In this case, that was not going to happen. There were a couple left and we just couldn't shoot them fast enough. Never mind, we don't have the greatest deal with the devil chance right now. But that is not to say that the next floor won't... Put us back on track. I don't have any spirit hearts, which means we don't want to get down to a single heart just to be in the horror of Babylon because our survivability suffers considerably. It'd be like a Judas run again, except we wouldn't have the damage that Judas has, nor a three room charge on the Book of Belial, which is the same thing as the Devil card, but we just use the Devil card, so now we don't have it. Careful. GB Bug, why don't you turn Monstro into like a, a dip? Huh? Pretty sure what GB Bug does is some damage. More HP. This run is taking it out. Yes, I <laughs> walked into that. I thought I was going rightwards, but of course there was a room left. Right, let's go and find something that will ensure our survivability. Maybe we'll find a key. I would like to find a key. Please. I sense that we're not going to get into the, the, the item room through a secret room because I suspect the secret room is directly north of us now. There's another bomb, which doesn't really help. Key. Yes. Right. 
not enough money to make it worth going into the shop, so we will spend it here and we will get this. Which means that I can find out whether I'm right about this. And then we'll get the hell out of the way, because that's super scary. I am. Uh, that's probably worth uh, another bomb. I have to just... Careful though. <laughs> Those bombs look extremely innocuous, do they not? And yet, they could take your armor. If I just got a spirit heart and then wasted it. But, 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 we got a uh, black heart back too. At least we are now in a small enough, a good enough position, a small amount of survivability, is what I was trying to say, to allow us on the next floor to maybe get that deal with the devil, which could be very important, because if we can sell our HP, we can hopefully remain in the horror Babylon state and be more powerful as a result. So here goes. And of course, the, the longer it takes you to get reliably into a horror Babylon, uh, I'm just going to do uh, one more. Go on. The longer it takes you to get into the horror Babylon, um, the slower you're going to go. It just makes sense because you're not doing as much damage. Why? Oh, you're a soul one, are you? Ah, GB Bug has shrunk you, but I don't want to step on you in case you do a shooting at me. Shenanigan. Ooh. A shenanigan. Obviously, shenanigans is a plural. Uh, and we run away. And we get some sense. Knock some sense into that thing. Or out of it, I suppose. Haha, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Thank you. I'll be here all day. Week. Well, it depends how long the run takes. Oh, okay. So, uh, stop pretending we're funny and just shoot Gurdy. I believe this is the Gurdy that does not shoot me. On account of how this Gurdy has yet to shoot me. Uh, but I can't. You know, you can't prove a negative, as they say. Uh, you can go away. We're not the one-shotting those, which means we really need to do something about our our abysmal damage right now. Maybe if I can ooh, avoid taking any damage, that would be superb. GB Bug, will you do some damage to that thing in the corner? Look at us there. Gordon Bennett. Even with Horror Babylon actually, we're taking ages over this. It's just like yesterday's run with Eden. Yes, which was different from Mathis's run, as I was saying, because he had plenty of damage to start off with, having started with a uh, lump of coal, and the Bible allowed him to instant kill Mom, because that's what the Bible does. That's one of its major benefits, is that you can just press the spacebar in a Mom fight and immediately kill it. And he got the same damage upgrades that we did, but he started in a better position. He even picked up the um, the chocolate milk that we found in Boss Rush to great effect. Because his damage was much better. I don't know. Just seems odd. We'll take this. I like this. And we will take this one. I'm still I'm kind of tempted to take the other one, but unless we literally get down to 1 HP after it all, there's probably no point spending it without needing to. Does that make sense? I mean, we're going to have to use the razor blade to get ourselves down to 1 HP, unless we only have 1 HP. So we might as well keep hold of it in case we need it to survive. Man, I hate these things, because they're so hard to hit. And you need to uh, <laughs> avoid them. They will shoot at you at some point. Wow, it's so tanky. Enough money to make the shop worthwhile. So I'm a fan of that. Oh, yeah, I was just saying how much I love these things, and I'm glad they're back. I believe GB Bug uh, recently was the culprit for the the charm shot effect that the one well, in the previous room had. So GB Bug, I think, just does stuff. It bounces around the room and occasionally does stuff. Most notably, GB Bug has, in the past, converted something I really needed, a spirit heart, into something I have no use for. <laughs> uh, I don't know where you are, so I'm going to be scared of this room for a while. Oh my goodness. Luckily, I think um, Heather's Baby is probably one of my favourite not that great items. A Hagalaz, a Blank Room, a Ansuz, a Degas, an Awaz. Yes, we will hold on to this. Where are we going? We're going to Isaac. An Algiers. Uh, well, Awaz doesn't actually help then, so we'll hold on to the Degas rune in case we get a curse that we don't like. Which is all of them. Wasn't really thinking of using the Magician too much. You know, great effect, so I don't feel too upset about leaving it behind. I would like to move on with this floor and get it over with. A sap. Another HP is great, and we will do this. Thank you. It's a mob trap room. I didn't even check whether it was a mob trap or a boss trap room before we came in. We're doing it either way, but obviously a boss trap room would take about five times as long. I'm failing to hit this, which is... Counterproductive. See, GB Bug just 
beat the crap out of that thing. Just deleted it from the game. I'm down with that. Thank you, GB Bug, for your services. I didn't realise it was that useful, if I'm being honest. Uh, we have found our item room, which I'd kind of forgotten that we hadn't even been to. I was just running around at random, I suppose, for no real reason. I haven't really put put it to the test that I needed to do anything in this room before. I was just going places. Uh, we win... Uh, I kind of need to keep hold of the razor blade, it, just in case I accidentally pick up HP. Although, we will absolutely take this, which means we don't need the Degas rune anymore, which means we will use it for the spirit heart therein. I'm not going to buy the red HP, I'm not going to buy anything else in there. We'll go to the cursed room and then make a press on, because I've taken long enough as it is. Give him more HP. Tum -tum -tum. Right, now we'll leg it. We're nice and quick, at least, thanks to the horror of Babylon there. Uh, and this room makes an excellent shortcut for everybody. Boom. Ten minutes exactly and we're down to the next floor. We're halfway through and we've got ten minutes left. So that's perfectly on time. Except, of course, see above. We're going to slow down. Um, and I would very much like it not to be the case. It would be helpful if we could easily speed up. Bombs key is possibly useful. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think we need eight keys, but I'm probably going to need a bomb or two at some point. You can... Piss off. Right, you stop shooting me and then I'll attack this. Careful. <laughs> Good dodging. Well done. Uh, we'll do this before I think twice about it. Mm, yes, we can. Oh, come on! I don't have any bombs. Can I get out of here? No. Okay. I guess we just shoot it. I can't have my bombs back. Question marks is addicted. I don't even know what that does, but okay. Uh, I believe that it matters if you have an addicted pill during the room, so... <laughs> ah! Really don't know what I did there, it's just that my panic flapping around uh, seemed to work. And then I undid it, and that was just bullshit. Thank you, fucking Pete. Whatever that fucking landed on top of this shit was. I avoided the Pete. Still managed to hit me. Dick. So I deal with this, and we are done. Come on! We haven't got all day. No, not even a reward. Apart from points. Points is why we're here. We got two of them. That one was feared, I believe that caused it to stop shooting, which is nice. Algis. Hmm. We'll go in here. Greed. Eve versus greed. Well, I don't mean to be greedy, but. I don't mind this fight at this stage. We don't have the money to buy anything substantial from the shop. I did get hit. I did get hit again. Can you not? Thank you. Man. <laughs> this room, I hate the layout of it. We can't seem to get in the pits in on greed before he ends up behind a rock. Stop jumping around and get closer. Wow. It's these sorts of enemies that you have to you know, tempt. Sort of lure into the right position. And you always end up getting either too close or not close enough. And then they're always in the wrong freaking place. It's okay. It's okay. Just don't get too stressy about it. Answers. Tells us some things. Blank rune does an Awas, which does not much. A Hagalaz, a Bacano, which we'll use. Can I pick it up, please? Another Awas, which is actually an Awas. A blank rune, which is a Algiers. I guess we'll take the Algiers with... Well, we should... Yeah. Algiers will get us some money out of the blood bank, at least. Right, let's get a move on. Okay, so I could go through there, but it didn't want to tell me that. I haven't found a single tinted rock in this entire game. I will... I will make this... Make you aware of this. Uh, I will lampshade that particular... Excuse me. To note... That... Tinted rocks are supposed to be the lifeblood of Eve at least at the start of the game, and I've yet to find any. Luck foot is fine. Luck upgrade doesn't hurt. Uh, okay, I guess we can't. Blow you up for some spiders. Super happy with that. I will try not to sleep in the bed because I don't want full HP. Now I'm starting to feel like uh, we're happy enough to sell the HP to the devil, if the devil will have it. I'm, I'm assuming that the razor blade doesn't 
that count as red heart damage. But it might do. Oof, don't want that. Oof, he says, avoiding red hearts like the plague. Can't get enough of them on some runs. Not this one, though. Just trying to uh, edge some shots into here without getting too gutsy about it. That was an exceptionally good chain event there. Chain reaction. Trying to make sure that I'm not going to run full tilt into the shots that come out of it. Whilst also making sure I actually succeed in said shots. Oh, thank you for shooting me whilst I was not aware of you. Dead Bird does do some decent damage once it's in position. Chad. I might just uh, explode Chad. Get the fight over with. 15 minutes. I've gone slow again. Uh, I don't really want little Chad. <laughs> I've got it, but I don't want it. Yeah, we tend to slow down. Uh, what do we do? I guess we just keep shooting things. That was lucky. I hate this room. I hate trying to even hit these things, let alone avoid those bloody explosive mortar thingies whilst I'm doing it. Right, right, right. Okay. Keys are fine, but I don't really need them, and I'd just like to be done with this floor, please. We haven't had a, a decent tiers upgrade at all, as far as I can remember. You know, uh, the the only syringe we've had was not really worth writing home about. Oh, there's creep on the ground and it's not mine. That's unfortunate. I did tend to get a little bit confused by that. Obviously, uh, my creep does glow. It's one of the two. Explosivo is probably worth using a bomb to get. It's going to make boss rush that much easier. Because we just stick shots to the bosses and then <laughs> walk away. I just wait. Although it doesn't involve waiting. That's fine though. I can wait. As soon as a shot sticks to an enemy, you can walk away. There you go. There's one. There's one. Finish. Thank you. There's more. There's more. I might try to just finish this off. Yeah. Gotta know when it's gonna be quicker. And we can't get into that uh, mob trap room, unfortunately. I don't even want the eternal heart. This is what Eve is like. You have to get rid of your HP and then run on spirit hearts for the rest of your life. It ain't that easy. Nobody said it would be easy. Shit. Okay, we're fine. Run away. Spirit heart there. I mean, a tinted drop, but it did have a spirit heart in it. Fate's reward is just going to produce the extra occasional explosivos for us. Just trying to get these spiders where we want them. Which is anywhere, really, but where I am. Thank you. Careful. We found our boss. I'm very tempted to just go for it. Uh, did we find the item room? We did. We've got explosivo. Yes, we've done a, a reasonable portion of this floor. And as we learned yesterday, we have to get through boss rush in time to get to hush, but we can't compete. Any sort of upgrade for me would just be excellent right now. Pardon? <laughs> How did that not completely annihilate you, excuse me? I also learned yesterday that it's very difficult to beat hush as the lost. But that wasn't on camera, so... You just have to believe me, I'm afraid. Thank you for explosivoing the shit out of them. That's perfect, that's exactly what I need. Uh, and this is the opposite of what I need. It's called Krampus. What I need is a not Krampus. Krampus' head could be good. Lump of coal, maybe? I think I might take either of them at this stage. Um, I'm still a bit concerned about accidentally taking HP, but yeah, I'll take it. At the same time, head of Krampus is so valuable. Luckily, we, we could see that floor, so we didn't need to... We knew wh whether we could get away with leaving, I suppose. Uh, we'll go in here. There is a an arcade. There's a blood bank in that arcade. That's the important thing. And we have won the goat head. Which helps a lot. How did I get hit there? Because this fucking chest isn't moving. Get out of my way, chest. Jesus Christ. So, goat head is... Absolutely what we need. We want to be able to sell all our HP to the devil for an amazing upgrade. But 
inputs are just completely over the top. I mean, our tiers upgrade is super nice as well that we just got, but honestly, I want some damage to go with it. Ah, screw you. Finish that off quickly and try to take HP and then we'll leg it. I mean, honestly, this is another one of those can we even make it to boss rush type affairs. Can we even win this run? We haven't taken a single damage upgrade through that the entire thing. I've been running on one red heart just because if I don't, I'm going to be just pissing on stuff. I mean, normally, crying on stuff is a, a, a derogatory way of saying how little damage you're doing, but we're literally crying on stuff. And I still feel like we're only crying on stuff. I've only got two bombs as well. This isn't... Excuse me, what the hell just hit me? I'm genuinely not sure what just hit me, because there was nothing on the screen at the time. I will invite you to review the footage just now, and note that I got hit before the thing that I thought had hit me was even on the screen. Got to get you out of here. Thank you. Okay, good. Oh, where's our boss? Oh, boss, oh, boss, oh, where is our boss? Oh, where, oh, where can it be? Jeez, oh, big rooms is exactly what I need right now. Uh, I really don't... I'm not a fan of the new rotating Krampus' head. It makes it a lot more difficult to actually use it. I think it worsens it. It makes it a even easier thing to leave behind than it was. Super green. Great. There you go. Die. Try not to pick up any HP. 19 minutes. We have missed boss rush. But that's probably for the best, knowing me. No bombs. Well, we can explore the rest of this floor at least. Wow. I can't believe I've had two low damage, low speed runs. Wow. Our speed is fine, but we can't hit anything. Explosivo is really helping, but it mostly helps on bosses. Well, on bosses. There aren't that many bosses. There's one per floor. I don't know if you've been sort of keeping up with that. Not, not strictly true. No, no bombs. I need a bomb. Bring back bombs. No? More? More. Die. Bomb. Bomb. Do this. Boom. That's good. That's what we need. There's our boss. We were a little bit slow, but not... We were too slow. It was definitely too slow. In which case, we might as well just use Kramps' head here, because screw, screw that room. Fuck it. Let's just go. We're not going to have the most stupendous ever run. We might as well get it over with. Wow, even this fight is going slowly. Have I picked up a damage upgrade? I think I have not. I've got myself into the Horror Babylon state, which was the plan, and I've maintained it, despite the amount of stupid damage I've taken. Uh, Explosiva really does not help with Mom. Because Mom just keeps, you know, oh, I'm stuck, help, <laughs> disappearing. I died! I took too much damage! Well, didn't we all? 1600th. To be honest, that point, and I'm in the top 2000, I think lots of people had difficulty with that run, which is not a surprise, because it was an Eve run, and it was shit. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully tomorrow's run will actually be enjoyable, <laughs> entertaining, outrageous, something with strong damage, and just a breeze. Something we can get our teeth into. You know how it is? A meaty run. Om nom nom. But that was not today, so thank you for watching, and come back tomorrow, and I will see you then.